What's up guys, Jujutsu Kaisen. Chapter 228 spoilers have arrived, so let's get right into it. Continuing where we left off with the fight, Gojo and Tsukina are in the Black Orb as we speak, which could serve to strengthen the barrier. It's not even the size of a basketball. Hold on a sec, that's impossible. Kusakabe is shocked about this fact. Maki brings up that the barriers outside is almost never the same as the insides. That's why once you're trapped in a domain, unless you somehow find the edge, you don't even have the option to escape, Maki explains. And even if you can reach the edge, a normal domain is resistant to attacks from the inside. Don't blame me, blame my teacher, Kusakabe says. What's most important with barrier techniques is a concrete image. Usually, if you try to envision a barrier too small to even hold yourself and your opponent, the barrier would just collapse. His experience being sealed in the prison realm is coming into play. Even knowing that, I still don't get how he can change the condition of his domain every time he uses it. Barriers, particularly domain barriers, typically have set internal and external parameters like volume and creation speed, Kusakabe explained. By discovering their own blend of these parameters, every sorcerer is able to establish their own domain barrier. Kigaruma and Hakari are surprised. You guys are exceptions, your domains open by default as part of your cursed techniques, Kusakabe explained. It's unusual for these things to change on the fly. Was it too difficult to maining such a huge barrier, hence why they've compressed it? Or is there some other reason behind it they contemplate? It's holding out, she says. The barrier is making all sorts of flashy movements. Sukuna also decreased his domain's range, so he could increase the output of his cursed technique, Yuta explained. If this barrier breaks, they'd have a stalemate and he'll run out of options, is what they're assuming. We're moving on to the Gojo vs. Sukuna fight. The barrier looks like it's about to break. Itadori is looking at the monitors, being concerned about Gojo. What happened? The shrine inside the barrier is collapsing. Sukuna has gotten a hole in his chest. The sorcerers are impressed and say that whatever happened was simultaneous. Sukuna destoried Gojo's domain from the outside, and Gojo damaged Sukuna till he couldn't keep hold of his domain anymore. Kusakabe is surprised that his barrier held on for so long. Three minutes and nine seconds, she adds, and if it's only about after the barrier was minimalized three minutes. But now they won't be able to use their cursed techniques. But then Satoru can make the first move cause of his reserve curse technique, but the issue is Sukuna can use that too, Maki explains. Yuta can use it too, apparently, if she puts it that way. But he can't use it to heal a burnt-out technique. Gojo Satoru made a mistake of showing it to Sukuna, the girl adds. Why is that a problem then? Takuma asks. She explains that with Kanjaku's help, Sukuna was able to split his spirit into 20 cursed objects, which are the fingers. After seeing it just once, he learned how to turn himself into a cursed object. Now that he's seen it, I'm sure Sukuna can also restore his burnt-out cursed technique. We are going back to the fight, now Sukuna is going for a jump. He's split into two, and Gojo is trying to resist it. Gojo tries to slam him onto the floor, but Sukuna doges his leg and moves towards a fence. Gojo is coming in again! Sukuna blocks his swooping leg. The tension between these two are high. Sukuna fully backs out, and Gojo has inner dialogue with himself asking why he's been stubbornly avoiding using any other cursed techniques other than the domain, even when the interior strength of the barrier was decreased. After I flipped the conditions of both internal and external, he didn't try to destroy it from the inside. He was taking risk. While we were canceling out each other's sure hit effects from within the domain, Sukuna had no other choice but to use domain amplification in order to beat his limitless technique. But within a domain, he can't use buildings to attack. In fact, Gojo's actually had the upper hand for those three minutes. In spite of all that, why didn't Sukuna even try to use different techniques inside the domain? Sukuna has the memory of my conversation with Megumi, so why isn't he using it? Is he scared? Or is there some other reasoning behind his actions? Gojo gets a bit frustrated. And so that is the end of chapter 228. Speculate in the comments, what do you think will happen in the next chapter of Jujutsu Kaisen? If you've made it this far into the video, put down Jujutsu Kaisen hype in the comments. And feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed the video. That's it for me, peace.